I wrote Takedown because my background is in communism, the Cold War, radical ideologies, totalitarianism, socialism, secular progressivism. I've looked at conservatism. And as people have asked me, why do you want to wade into this culture war issue of gay marriage? Well, I really would not. <laughs> I mean, I really don't want to deal with this at all. It's not fun being called hate-filled homophobe and fascist and every name in the book simply because you're weighing in on the, on the issue of marriage and because you have a position on marriage that people have had for 2,000 years. But I, I wrote this because my background, again, is in communism, these radical ideologies. And I know that Marx and Engels and the Communist Manifesto wrote of the abolition of the family, as they called it which even then, in 1848, they can call it infamous proposal of the communists. That's right in the communist. I teach the, I teach the communist manifesto once a year when I teach my course on it for like 20 years. And one of the things we talk about is this line, abolition of the family. Uh, Marx wrote a letter to Engels where he said, blessed is he who has no family. And Engels, who did not like marriage, refused to get marriage, had no family. Marx himself had a very bad family life, very poor family life, and I've talked about the life of Marx and his relationship with his wife and his kids, so, so I know all of this background. And then when I started noticing two or three years ago, because part of the research that I do, every day when I get up in the morning I read People's World, which is the communist publication, the house publication of Communist Party USA. I read Communist Party USA's website, and I noticed two or three years ago that they were suddenly gung-ho and absolutely on fire for gay marriage, and that they have really adopted the, the entire gay agenda. I mean, they just, they just got done celebrating LGBT Pride Month every day at the website of People's World. It's, it's, it's no exaggeration to say, this is absolutely true. Uh, if you go to the website of People's World, you are much more likely right now to find the gay rights rainbow flag than you are a red flag. And that's because they still like to conceal that they're communists and call themselves progressives, but they are really behind pushing the, the gay agenda. And why? Why is this? Well, for me, it makes sense, with my knowledge of history and communism, you know, communists from Marx and Engels, early socialist utopians, Robert Owen, Charles Fourier, onto the cultural Marxists, Herbert Marcuse, Wilhelm Reich, They've all had this, this goal of reshaping, redefining, and taking down the natural, traditional, biblical, Judeo-Christian, male-female marriage, family. So, so to me, the communist position on this makes complete sense. Now, I'm not saying in takedown that this thus means that people who are same-sex marriage advocates are communists. They're not. Of course they're not. I mean, like, you know, 1% of the population is communist, but 40 to 50% support same-sex marriage. What I'm saying, though, is that those people, those advocates of same-sex marriage, have no idea how that advocacy fuels and fits the much more radical left's agenda. Radical left being communist left, socialist, radical, secular, progressive left. For them, you know, for the typical same-sex marriage supporter, they have benevolent motives. They're trying, they're aiming for what they call marriage equality, for extending a new right to a larger group of people. But for the radical far left, they have malevolent motives with this. I mean, they've been looking to take down the family for two centuries. And in same-sex marriage, they finally have the vehicle to make it happen. And so in Takedown, this is, this is what I chronicle. I chronicle the ideological, historical forces at work in this anti-family, anti-marriage movement. That most Americans today, vast majority of Americans today, and the vast majority of same-sex marriage advocates are completely oblivious and ignorant of, of, this, of this much older, much more sinister effort.